Rio? It's winter in Rio. Rainy. Well, then we'll buy the sunshine and bring it with us. Now, whatever happens, don't panic on me. Have I ever? You got the stuff? I sure do. Okay, let's do it then. Hey, 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 hey. Hate to put a hole in that beautiful suit of yours. Give me the case. Don't be stupid. Nobody ripped off Miles. Give me the case. Judge Rayburn. You know him? Yeah, I know him. Yeah, his wife thinks he's spending after hours with a particular defense attorney, exchanging more than legal advice. So she wants pictures that'll hold up in court, even in his court. Where do they meet? I don't know. He's got a house at the bottom of the hill. Hmm. I'll probably need a telephone. Talk to Griff. Have you guys seen my keys? What's the rush? It's the DMV. I made an appointment so I wouldn't have to wait in line. And if I miss it, I'm going to be in there for weeks. Mm -hmm. Coach's bet. Fifth race. Colin. Hi. Hi, is Ryan here? Charlie? Hi, sis.
this is my sister, Charlie. Hi. Hi, Charlie. How you doing? Look, it's nice to meet you, Charlie. Listen, I'm gonna go talk with Griff and uh, see if you can help us out. Okay, great. So, what are you doing here? Well, I got a few days off from work. I took the red eye and came to see you, so here I am. Yeah. I didn't catch you at a bad time, did I? I just wanted to surprise you. Uh, yeah, you did surprise me. I just... I wish you would have called so I could have planned. Oh, you never change. And you know me, there's so much fun in not planning. Um... Listen, I've got to run to the DMV. You can come with me, or you're more than welcome to stay here. Mitch is going to stay here, right? I think I'll grab a bite to eat. I'm starving. If you want, I'll take you. There's a great restaurant downstairs. The least I can do for my partner's sister. Is he always this sweet? Mm, yes, most of the time. I'll see you guys later. Buchanan. Yeah. Yeah, hang on. It's for you. Why don't you take it to Ryan's desk? Hello? I cannot believe you left me there. Hey! How you doing? How'd you get this number? Rachel had it. I want the money, Charlie. Bring it back. Listen, I haven't taken a vacation in two years. I'm not gonna come back right now. Now, you can fire me if you want. It's nice being wanted, but you're gonna have to be patient. Okay, okay, I'll deal with it when I get back. Goodbye. <sighs> Let's see. I'm starved. So that's when she left New York and moved to Texas. She doesn't talk much about me, does she? No. When Ryan and I were growing up, we were inseparable. Wherever she went, I went. We could always count on each other. Did you know she was Miss Texas? You're kidding me. You mean like in swimsuit, high heels, a whole nine yards? The whole thing. <laughs> she could have gone on to Miss America, but didn't. Why didn't she? Don't know. You'll have to ask her. Believe me, I will. Donna, come here for a second. I'd like you to meet Ryan's sister, Charlie. Hi. Hi. Charlie, this is Donna. This is uh, Donna's club. Hmm, it looks happening. The food's great. Thanks. Hey, nice outfit. DKNY? No, Josh M. Oh, it looks great. <laughs> Thanks, but not for California. The airlines lost my luggage. I can take care of that. Why don't you come with me? Oh, we'll be right back. I'll be here. So you own this place? And not totally, but working on it. I never know what could come up, so I open my trunk and voila. Wow. Welcome to my ready, set, go. Now, let's see. I'm sure we can find something in here for you. Here, try this. What's the story with Mitch and Ryan? How should I know if they don't? <laughs> Listen, why don't you just help yourself? Great. Thank you. <gasps> I love it. It's perfect. Like it? Perfect. <laughs> Thanks. How we going? Oh, she's all set. Great. She'll be back in a minute. She had to use the phone. You know, it's hard to believe she and Ryan are from the same mold. I need a passport, Doran. It's going to cost you. I don't care how much it costs. All right, well, you got a picture? Who carries pictures of themselves? Of course I don't have one. But I'm going to be at this place called Nights with my sister. Do you know it? Yeah, yeah, I know where it is. I'll be there tonight. Hey, and be discreet. You got it. Hey, it's Dapper's Mitch. Actually, I'm not being a PI or a lifeguard. I'm just kicking it. But I'm out here on the North Beach, and I notice there's a major rip. Be sure you keep everybody out of the water. See ya. Hey. Hey. <laughs> That was very cool of Donna to lend me these clothes. Good. So what do you do for fun around here? Uh, I saw those water bikes. Oh, actually, they're called uh, wave runners. They look like fun. Oh, well, they are. You know, uh, I've got a few hours. Uh, if you had a bathing suit, I'd take you for a spin. Right here. Works for me. <laughs> Tell me you didn't take it. Don't tell me you're the wrong guy. If you value your life at all, dummy, tell me where my briefcase is. It's in Los Angeles. Los Angeles is a big city. Look, it's hand squeeze with Charlie, okay? She's staying with her sisters now. Now, I, I just spoke with a friend of mine, Dawn, who, who she's already contacted, and, and she's getting ready to get out of the country.
Los Angeles. How thoughtful. Let me guess. You want to fly there, get my briefcase, bring it back to me, right? Yeah. Yeah. I want an address. Charlie. This guy, Doran. Look, look, I don't have an address, okay? I just, I just have the sister's number, she, where she works. It's, it's a PI agency somewhere in Malibu. PI? And Doran? Look, it's in there, okay? The last name is Walter. Thanks a lot. Three rules to a stakeout. Stay alert, don't complain, and take plenty of food. Got it. Hey, you right? Hey, Griff. Listen, thanks for helping us out. No problem. Hey, you guys take care. I just came from Knights. I'm looking for Mitch and Charlie. Have you seen them anywhere? I can't find them. about Mitch. If you're not, why not? Because we work together. So, never would stop me. Yeah, I know. Come on, he's just your type. He's good looking, he's smart. He's solid as a rock. You know, I had my hands on his chest and I had to fall in the water to cool off. <laughs> now I guess I'm just missing out, aren't I? Ah, this is where you live? Yeah, it's just temporary. I'm thinking about buying the land and then living on it for a year or so before I decide what kind of house I want to build. Putting down roots. Yeah, I guess you can say that. Look, Charlie, sit down for a second, will you? Mm. So, I don't hear from you for over a year, and suddenly, here you are. You want to tell me what's going on? I told you I came here to see you. I'm your sister, Charlie. I know you better than that. You're not being fair. Look, I just don't want to see you in any kind of trouble again. Listen to you. Who the hell do you think you are, Mom? No, I believe you took care of that. Is that what this is all about? Look, Charlie, there are eight million reasons why I left New York, and no offense, but you're one of them. Now, I didn't ask you to come here. I don't remember extending any invitation for you just to show up like this. You know, I'm sorry I wasn't as perfect as you growing up. And for the record, I miss Mom, too. This was obviously a mistake. Drive me back. I'm out of here. Wait, Charlie, please wait. Look, I want to believe you. The thought of you coming out here to spend some time with me is great, if that's really what you're here to do. But you got to understand, what you're asking me to do is throw away everything that you've done in the past and trust you. People can change. Give me a chance to prove it. I'm sorry. I'm glad you're here. I, I really am. Let's go out tonight and celebrate new beginnings, my treat. Ooh, why don't we just stay in and make some popcorn and talk about old times? California tame you down or what? What happened to that New Yorker who used to stay up all night partying? Well, she got a job. Come on, we both need more excitement on my first night here. Let's go to nights. I hear it's fun. All right, yeah. I think I could use a good New York night out. Cool, now you're talking.
see that weirdo took my picture? Yeah, what was that all about? He thought I was Demi Moore. And I thought New Yorkers were strange. Would you like another drink? I'm buying. Yeah, sure. Why not? When you have a chance, please. Hello, Miss Texas. Buy a drink here, little lady. These are on your sister. She is full of information. Charlie's got a big mouth. Ah, sisters. So what else did she tell you about me? Oh, a few things. Why didn't you go on to Miss America? But you would have won. No, that wasn't my style. Well, why'd you do it? I just did it to prove something to Charlie. Aha, uh -huh. so that's what's going on with you two. No, there's more to it than that. Charlie had been arrested for the zillionth time. My mother went to bail her out like she always did. And she was killed in a car accident on her way to pick Charlie up. Oh, God, Ryan, I'm sorry. You blame Charlie. It just never should have happened. As much as I want to, it's so hard for me to trust her. She's so good at telling you what she thinks you want to hear. And every time she comes into my life, she's in some sort of trouble or she's about to find some. Maybe she's here to put the past behind her. Yeah, maybe. Would you excuse me? I have some bills to pay. Good morning. You cooked breakfast? Shocker, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> What'd I do to deserve this? You put up with me all these years. What, this is all I get? Could throw in some parsley. <laughs> you seemed uptight at the club last night. Didn't say a word the whole way home. Is, is there something I said or, or did? Come on, tell me. I hear it's very Californian to open up. Okay. You do whatever you want, no matter how it affects people, don't you? It's the way I am. You gotta go with the moment because you don't know if it'll come back a second time. You should try it. Take a shot of tequila. Kiss a guy because he wants to skydive. You know, something impulsive. It makes life a lot more exciting. You could die tomorrow. Not everything has to come from your date book. What, do you really think my life is that boring? Professionally, no. Personally, yes. Okay, well, at least I know where I'm going. But how you get there is the fun part. So what fun parts do you have planned for today? Well, if I can get a ride with you, I thought I'd go to the Strand. Check it out. Yeah, sure, it's no problem. Good. Oh, <laughs> So tell me, now what brings you here so early? Can I talk to you about something? Okay. Garner, there's something about Charlie I'm not buying. Like what? Guy came into the club last time, took a picture of her. I recognize him from the Strand. He's got a very bad rep. Deals in illegal paperwork. Hmm. Here they are. Shouldn't you tell Ryan? 
Not just yet. You know how to get there? You bet. See ya. All right, I'll see you later. I'm right back. Ask you an honest question. Give me an honest answer. As long as it doesn't incriminate me. Um, do you think I'm personally boring? Yes. Yeah. Thanks. I hope you finish because I got a book. And like now. Come on, you can sleep later. Where's the briefcase? I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. I just came to order t-shirts. I am not interested in conversation. Just that briefcase. I swear I don't know anything about any briefcase. I am not gonna ask you again. He's dead, come on. Go, go, go. Go, go. Rachel. Her boyfriend's this guy named Rex. He found out I drove limos and I was good at it. He paid me a lot of money to drive and not ask questions. All I know is these guys in Wall Street, they wanted to buy some very high-grade powder. Things got way out of hand. So what's in the briefcase the guy was talking about? Drugs? Cash. 1.5 million. That explains a lot. Look, Mitchell, there was a shooting and I was scared. I didn't plan on taking the briefcase. I just did it and came here. I thought I'd be safe. You're far from it. Come on, come on. Hey, John, I need a ride to headquarters pronto. Where's the briefcase the guy was talking about? No. The airlines lost it. I didn't want to carry it with me on the plane. What if they made me open it up? What would I say? I swear, Mitch, that's why I keep calling the airline. I just want to give it back. What's your connection with the dead guy and the guy who thought you were Demi Moore? Give me a passport to get out of the country. What about the guy chasing us? How'd he know where you were? Must have got to Rex. Rex knows Doran. Yeah. Yeah, it's me. She got away. Hey, I don't know. She was with some guy. All right. I'll call you back. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Do you have a sister by the name of Charlie, by any chance? Yeah, why? What'd she do now? Uh, well, you better come with me. OK. Uh, you know what? I don't think so. I do. <laughs> Please.
the hell? Where's Ryan? I don't know. What's wrong? Somebody busted into our car. Look, something's coming down here. McKenna McBride. Garner, I need his heart to Mitch. Yeah, it's me. Mitch? Please, Mitch, they want their money. I don't know what they're talking about. Right, you just take it easy. Put them on the phone. Are you confused about any of this? No. It's a straight swap. We'll call you in one hour with the instructions. Get the money. Don't be late. They want the money or they're gonna kill Ryan. What money? M Mitch, the airline lost it. I'm not buying the airline crap. Now, Ryan is gonna die unless you start telling the truth. Where is it? It's at the airport. I left the briefcase with baggage claim. If they call, I'll stall. Who was that guy who called for you yesterday? That was Rex. Yeah, I knew something was up. You must be pretty good at reading people. Most of the time. Ever make a mistake? Not yet. Thank you. You call? Not yet. Open it. I can't. I don't know the combination. I do. What were you expect? A million five cash. Where's the lie now, Charlie? It's Rex, I swear. He either never had the money or, or somehow he scammed it. But these guys think you have. And they're not gonna believe I don't. Please, Mitch, you're gonna kill me. They don't have you. They have Ryan. You got the money? Yeah, we got it. Now listen good. You have Charlie meet us inside the old cannery at the end of Pier 4 in 45 minutes. She comes alone, or her sister is dead. What are we gonna do? Exactly what the man says. Except? Yeah. Except. You got one, that's enough. No choices, Doc. That's right. stuff you wanted. Remember how to use it? Don't they come with instructions anymore? <laughs> Clear as the day you taught me. Don't tell me. I don't want to know. How you doing? She 
You come alone? Yeah. Good girl. Are you okay? Yeah. I got what you wanted. I'm glad you remembered what you did with my money. Open it. I can't. I don't know the combo. Well, you seem like the type that would have figured out a way. Sorry to disappoint you. Listen, you got your money. Now let us go. I wish it was that easy, but nobody steals from me and gets away with it. If your friend Rex could talk, he would tell you that. At least let her go. My sister had nothing to do with it. She doesn't even know about the money. Listen, everything's cool now. Just, just let us go. Maybe I didn't make myself clear. <gasps> Okay? Yeah. Hey, but we got one more guy to take care of. No, I took care of him. So what? So this is your plan? You coming to save me with an empty briefcase? Last time I checked petty cash, we were a million five short. Besides, worked, didn't it? Not too bad. Hey. Hi. You okay? Yeah. I sure wish I had the friends you do. Yeah, I'm pretty lucky. Listen, you don't need to worry about those guys following you around, OK? They're going to be wearing striped suits for a long time. Messed up again. Could have gotten you killed, Mitch, Garner. You are the way you are. I can't change you, Charlie. You got to change yourself. I'm so sorry. I know. Hey, I know. You want me to drive you to the airport tomorrow? It's okay, thank you. I hate goodbyes at airports. 
Listen, when I get my next paycheck, I'll send you and Donna the money for the clothes. Don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. You always do. You promise you'll come back? Yeah. Next time, I'll call first. <laughs> OK. For what it's worth, Ryan didn't want to believe me. Why should she? She's my sister. It's what you've always counted on. Life's not as easy for me, Ryan. I knew you'd be OK. You've got friends that take care of you. I'm all alone. Anyway, I know you're going to have a hard time believing this, but I really am sorry. I'm sorry, too. There's some people who want to talk to you in New York. I don't know where we go from there. You all right? Yeah. What's up with you, Bob? I'm still thinking about that guy I shot. Well, if you gonna shot him, he shot me. Yeah. Still don't feel good about it. If it wasn't for you and that gun, I wouldn't be alive. Thanks, Bob. Are the guys here? Yeah, they are. Uh, listen, can I talk to you for a second? Yeah, sure. Listen, Ryan, the other day in the parking lot, I, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Oh, no, that's OK. I asked. You were just being honest. Came out a little harsher than I meant. Well, if you didn't mean boring, what did you mean? Predictable? Predictable. Great, that's even worse. Nobody wants to be predictable. Predictable, dependable, good, solid traits. I just didn't want you to think I was being catty. Oh, no, not at all. No, I didn't think that for a second. Okay. Well, listen, can I get you something? Yeah. Yeah, I'll have a drink. I know, I know. Margarita, blended, no salt. Unless you wanted something else. No, 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 that's, that's what I want. Pretty boring, huh? Well, predictable. Yeah. What was that for? Just because I wanted to. It doesn't mean we're going out or anything. Go, girl, go. 